So over the past 10 years, I've had the privilege of being a professional touring musician, playing with a lot of different artists, a lot of different bands, and being on a lot of different types of tours. Now, something that I've learned over the years is that there are some gigs that you can't get unless you have certain pieces of gear. And so because of that, today I want to share with you five different pieces of gear that will have you set for almost any type of gig. All right, now the first piece of gear is a wireless guitar system. If you don't know what a wireless guitar system is, it's basically a way that you can plug in your guitar, your bass into your pedal board without having a cable. So you can walk around stage and still be able to hear sound out of your rig. Now these used to not always be as easy to travel with because of their kind of bulky and stuff. The one that I used to use all the time was the Shure GLX-D4. But here recently in the past couple of months, I just switched to the Shure GLX-D16+. Plus. This is actually the same components, a lot of the same things as the GLX-D4 that I had before, but now it's made in a pedal and it's also a tuner pedal as well. So what this allows me to do is take off my tuning pedal that I've used for the years now and use this as the tuning pedal and also a wireless rig as well. It comes with a body pack receiver that has a 12 hour battery life, which is so sick. And it's rechargeable as well, just using a USB cable. Now the build quality of this is like really metal. And so it's perfect for heavy touring conditions, which is what I usually do. Now, one of the huge selling points for me on this is that it has a way to go hardwired and not just be wireless. So basically that means that if your battery pack dies or your body pack dies or something, you can just plug in your quarter inch cable straight into your base and go into it just like a normal pedal board as usual. And also it shows you how many hours it is on the pedal itself. So you can check and know how many hours you have left. Now this may be a little bit techy, but I'm sure some of you guys want to know this. It switches between a 2.8 and a 5.8 gigahertz. And the default setting on it, it switches to whichever one is needed or whichever one's the least uh, cluttered. Or you could set it to 2.8 or 5.8, you know, depending on whatever situation you're in. Now the range of this particular wireless system is 100 feet, which is perfect. A 100 foot stage is massive. This is like perfect for any size gig. Now this wireless system is a little bit pricier than some, but the thing is, is that you're getting two pedals for the price of one. I think right now it's around $4.99 at the time of this video, and it is totally, totally worth it if you want something that's super portable and easy to take with you anywhere on a gig. Now, piece of gear number two is going to be in-ears. If you don't know what in-ear monitors are, they're pretty much just like headphones that you can use to hear yourself and the other people in the band when you're playing. The ones I'm currently using right now are Juicy Ears. They're Juicy Ear 5s, I believe. They're five driver in-ear monitors and they're universal fit. They are really great, very durable. I've been using them probably for over a year and a half now and they have not broken. They've stayed solid and true the entire time. So part of the reason why I got these ears is because they have a really good bass response and also they're not crazy pricey. They're only about $2.98 at the time of this video. And so if you guys are looking for some good quality, you know, cheaper in ears, these are definitely the ones I would use. Now I will say if you're doing this as a career, I definitely encourage you to try to get some type of in-ear molds. There's some companies that do it. Juicy Ears does it as well. But the reason why it's important is because whenever you get a mold that's like completely molded to your ear, you cut out all sound. It's the best noise canceling that you can get because it fits your ear perfectly and you can't hear anything but what you put in your monitor. Now, piece of gear number three is 
an in-ear wireless system. If you don't know what that is, basically all it is is a way that you can hook those in-ears that we just talked about into a pack that's wireless so you can walk around stage and still be able to hear yourself and the whole band. Now historically these are a little bit pricier but in the past couple years there have been a couple of different you know products and different in-ear systems that are a little bit more budget friendly because some of these can get up to around two thousand dollars or more. Now there are two types that I usually carry with me. I have the X5 U4s, which are ones that I've used before on tours, and then also the Phoenix Pro wireless in-ear system. Now, these are both about the same price. I think one's $228, the other one's $229, but I will say there are definitely some differences. The X5 is probably one that I've used a little bit more so, but it's a little bit small and it, it's a metal encasing. It's so small that you could actually put it in your pocket and I've done that quite a few times. So now with the X5, it has about 90 feet of range with clear line of sight. And it's also a rechargeable battery that lasts about five hours, which is perfect to get you through a show. It's really made for like smaller gigs, smaller venues, smaller stages. And so it's perfect for that type of playing. And honestly, what you're paying for with this setup is the portability and ease of use because of how small it is and how easy it is to just cut on and play. So the only two things I have with this particular system and the reason why it's not my top recommendation is because one, it's a little bit soft on volume and then also the switch on it is a little bit too easy to cut on and off. And so sometimes when I put it in my backpack or anything like that, it cuts on and runs the battery down even after I charged it without me knowing. This type of system is pretty much a run and gun type of system if you're just doing smaller gigs in town or things like that. Now the system that I use probably a little bit more so now is the Phoenix Pro system, which is $228 is a dollar difference. The body pack is not metal, it's plastic. The thing is, is that it's a stereo mix. You can send stereo or you can go mono with your mix, which is a game changer for me. Now this system is a little bit bulkier than the X5, but it's still pretty portable and easy to take with you. Now the range on this unit is 160 feet with a clear line of sight. And this will get you through just about any size stage unless you just have like a crazy big stage that you're playing on. With this unit, you have a little bit more control. It looks a little bit more professional and it also just has a lot more features that I really, really dig and love. Now, the one thing about this system is that the batteries aren't rechargeable. It's just pretty much just double A batteries that you throw in there and just have to change every time you do it. Now, one of the big features on this particular unit for me is that if your body pack dies, you can connect via hardwire cable straight to the receiver and still be able to play the gig even if your battery pack dies. Now the big thing I love about this headphone system of where you can hardwire in is that with this system, I can just record my direct in-ear wireless mix wherever I play on my own. Now piece of gear number four is a pro level instrument case. The reason why this is so important is that if you've toured traveled at all with the case, you probably have had that moment where it was like accidentally dropped or you had to gate check it. There's all kinds of things that can happen. And so because of that, getting a pro grade case is going to help you so much. The one that I've used over the past few years has been mono cases. It's probably one of the biggest industry standards when it comes to cases. They have really, great soft hard shell cases. I say soft hard because when you touch it on the outside it feels soft but it actually is very protective. Now these cases are super strong and durable and there's a reason why everybody uses them and you see a lot of pro musicians using them. They're just really reliable cases. One of the big reasons I got this instead of a hard case to carry with me all the time is because it can kind of squeeze into trunks or small places like back seats or different things like that if it ever came to it. Now this case isn't the cheapest, it's about like $249 right now for just the single M80 case. And then I think 314 for the dual case at the time of this video. Now you may be asking, man, that's really expensive just for an instrument case, but I'm telling you, you're protecting what's making you money. So if it's not worth it to you, hey, that's fine. It's worth it to me though. 
Now the second type of case I think you should definitely have, every pro should have at least one, which is a hard shell case that's really bulletproof. The one that I use is the Gator Frameworks Titan Series case. And pretty much it's a waterproof case that can be locked, you can check it straight onto a flight with no issue. You can do anything to it and it's gonna protect your base pretty much. The reason why I think this is very needed is because when you do international gigs or travel somewhere there is where it's gonna be a long trip, you wanna make sure you have your base somewhere that it's gonna be completely protected for a long journey. But I will say the price of this hard shell case is a little bit more expensive even than the model case. I think it's right around the time of this video is $419 for the one that I have, but it's waterproof, you can lock it. There's so many different things. It's pretty much a tank. I'll let you be the judge if you should get it. So piece of gear number five is probably the biggest thing I always recommend to bass players is a high quality base DI. Now the thing is with base DI's is that I always say if you put a lot of money into it, you're gonna get a lot of money out of it. This is the thing when it comes to any type of piece of equipment when it comes to pedals or anything like that for the road is that you are getting what you pay for. If you get a high quality DI, it's gonna last you forever. For example, the DI that I use right now is the API Transformer LX. It got discontinued years ago but I am still using it today. I spent, I think, $560 when it was brand new, years ago when I got it, and I'm still using it on every single gig that I play. Now, you don't have to get this particular one. I know it's discontinued, but here are some recommendations for some ones that I really like. The Neve RNDI is a great, simple DI that's really high quality. The Aguilar Tone Hammer, the GK Plex is another great one that has a lot of controls and a lot of different settings you can dial in. And the Sans Amp Tube DI that has stood the test of time because I started using it whenever I first got into the game and it's still pretty relevant till today. Now here's a little bonus piece of gear that is definitely needed as a pro musician as well is high quality quarter inch cables or TRS cables. I have used Merino Customs, which is a custom cable company for probably over five or six years now, and I have not had many issues with them. The guy who runs it is really great. Anytime I have an issue with the cable, I can send it back to him, he'll fix it, send it right back to me. And it's just like, they're just really, really, really solid cables. Now some recommendations for high quality cables you could check out. Uh, Megami has the Gold Series cables that are really, really nice. Then also, Diadario has these Waves cables that are really, really nice as well. So if you're interested, go check them out. I'll have them all linked in the description below. So if you're watching this video and you're just like, man, Travis, this is a lot of gear and a lot of money in gear. I will tell you this, you don't have to get it all at one time. Get it gradually, but the one thing I really, really, really urge to you is don't skimp on quality. If something's cheaper, but the quality is not good, you're gonna notice when you're traveling on the road. Trust me, I have done it before. So if you guys like this video, feel free to drop a comment below. And also, if I missed anything on this list that you think I should have included, also let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want any of this gear or if you wanna help support this channel, feel free to click on any of my affiliate links in the description below to where if you click on them and make a purchase through them, this channel gets a kickback to bring you more videos. Now, if you haven't already, check out my website, travisdykesmusic.com, where you can find shirts like this and a lot of other merch to help support this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.